Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I was asked by Deacon Ken, I am sad that you left Christianity. What convinced you to become a Muslim? So my answer is this. It all started when I was a young girl and my brother died. He was about one day old and he was not baptized. So in the Catholic Church, you all know what happens to um, kids that are not baptized, they go to a place limbo. Limbo is neither heaven nor hell. Now, I started studying about limbo and baptism back in the day, so I started looking into the Bible itself and I didn't find anything. So rather than finding more answers to my questions, I found more questions than answers. I started memorizing the Bible, good chunks of it, taking notes, and I found out myself very puzzled. Years passed by and I went to college, so I started taking classes in the Old Testament and New Testament and so on, and the nature of Jesus, uh, So, <coughs> in any case, I was a very devout Christian. I practiced, uh, and I went to church not only Sundays, but every day, and I prayed every day, and uh, my, my college was actually uh, Christian as well. So I started talking to my professors about the Bible, and uh, since they maintained that the Bible had errors, and that upset me very much. I knew that it had contradictions, but not to the extent that the professors knew. I didn't think that anybody had noticed, and that was a huge shock to me. I then, instead of studying the Bible, started to look into other religions to see what they had to say about the matter. So I started looking into Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, any kind of ism, I was looking into it. And I found out about Islam. Now, when I started reading about Islam, Islam had answered the problems that I had with the Bible or the questions that I had with the Bible. But I had a huge problem. The fact that Muslims said that Jesus was a message to people who was not God. So I concentrated on Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, and what the Bible has to say about Jesus, or what Jesus said in the Bible actually, rather than concentrating on the Quran itself. What I found out looking at the scriptures is that with no with, was shocking, first off. And not only the Quran right about what it said about Jesus, but also what Jesus said about himself agree with what the Quran said. And it took me about seven years to accept Islam through careful, careful, careful looking into the scriptures and making sure that I wasn't making a mistake. Um, I have been studying the Bible for about 19 years almost now, and 13 years the Quran. In the end, what made me convinced was that Islam had answered all my questions. Islam, to me, was a religion of God, and I'm a very logical person, so everything has to make sense to me. In Islam, there is no blind faith, there is no no mystery. You you do have faith, obviously, but there is no mystery. You can ask questions, you can educate yourself. While I was a Christian, every day I felt like it was a cloudy day, full of confusion, and really with no answer to basic things. I said, most and everything seems to be like a sunny day, and everything seems to make sense. So what finally convinced me was that Islam did answer all my questions in the end, and that I didn't find a big discrepancy between what the Bible, uh, what the Quran says about the Bible, or what the Quran says about Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, but rather discrepancies in within discrepancies that the Bible has within itself and other authors uh, that are not. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.